There are few things more terrifying than being the host for a parasite. Having a creature within you that feeds on you or makes you ill in order to serve its own needs. Not caring about the pain and suffering it can cause you as long as it remains well fed. Hello, I'm Andrew Boyd, and though I have been the host for several parasitic demons during my time trapped in this lifeless void dimension, I prefer dealing with them rather than the parasites we will be talking about today. These are the top five scary parasites that could end the world in 2023. Let us begin our journey. Number five, Wolbachia. Wolbachia is a genus of bacteria that infests a massive 70% of the invertebrates in the world. They are most known for spreading from female hosts to the next generation by essentially hitching a ride on the mother's eggs. Because they are passed on in egg cells, males of whatever species serve no purpose for the Wolbachia. So they do everything in their power to make sure no males are born. They do this with a variety of methods, such as killing the male embryos or forcing them to change into female embryos. Perhaps most strangely, Wolbachia can sometimes even force their female hosts to reproduce asexually, all in the effort of curbing the amount of males born in the infected species. These extreme bacterial methods have so far only been shown to work in invertebrates, such as worms, insects, and butterflies, but it has been found in humans. It currently does not pose any risk to humanity, but is there a chance? that this parasitic bacteria could one day evolve to affect humans and animals the way it does invertebrates. If it did, and it spread enough, this could result in half of our species being at risk of being eliminated before we are even born. Society as we know it would be massively changed, all for the benefit of a parasite we can't even see without a microscope. Let's hope that this bacteria stays in its lane and doesn't evolve to broaden the horizons of what it wants to infect. Number four, Vandelia cirrhosa. The Vandelia cirrhosa, otherwise known as the vampire fish or the kandaroo, is a small catfish found in the Amazon that is known for feeding on other fish by swimming into their gills and shooting out a sharp backwards facing spine to lodge itself into its host, upon which time it will feast on their sanguine fluids until it becomes bloated and dies. It finds its prey by following the smell of ammonia, and unfortunately, the vampire fish is not picky about their prey, and this ammonia smell will sometimes lead to its swimming to humans. When it comes across humans, the kandaroo is known to enter the person through whichever orifice it can find, where it will unleash its sharp spines and remain lodged there, feasting on the person's plasma until it dies and needs to be surgically removed. If that doesn't sound bad enough, remember, I said it will enter a person through whichever orifice it can find. And it is attracted to ammonia, which is found in urine. So. It is not uncommon for this fish to find a man who is swimming and for it to lodge itself in his, well, you know. It will stay there feeding, and because of the barbed spines, can only be removed via a very invasive surgery, which I imagine is not too visually dissimilar to peeling a banana. Right now, this species of parasitic fish is limited to the Amazon, but it is not out of the realm of possibility that they could eventually become a more global threat. Not that this would necessarily end the world, but if I found myself infected by one of these things, it would be the end of my world, as I would probably just call it quits after that, rather than be subjected to painful and existentially horrifying procedures in order to remove a fish who somehow managed to find its way into my most private of orifices and chose to make its home inside of me until it literally ate itself to death. Beyond the physical ramifications, I just think the trauma of such an event would put me permanently out of commission and unable to go on on a planet where such brutal and disgusting creatures are able to be found in nature. Number three, Toxoplasma. Toxoplasma is a parasite that infects and brainwashes its victims. 
It is known for infecting rodents, such as mice and rats. The rodents normally have an aversion to the smell of cats, which helps them to avoid their predator. When the rodents are infected with toxoplasma, they actually become attracted to the smell of cats, and will seek out their feline foes, allowing the cat to easily kill and eat the rodent. While in the stomach of the cat, the toxoplasma reproduces, and when the cat relieves itself, the parasite is in its fecal matter. This fecal matter is then ingested by rodents who become infected, starting the cycle all over again. Unfortunately, this parasite is also able to infect humans who come into close contact with cats or who ingest raw or undercooked meat. Thankfully, it has not evolved to the point where humans are being brainwashed into walking into bear enclosures at the zoo or something, but the parasite does have a variety of ill effects on the humans that it infects. For starters, if a pregnant woman is infected, toxoplasma has been known to cause the fetus to experience brain damage, which is why pregnant women are advised to stay away from cat litter. Recent studies have also shown that infected people have their reflexes and reaction times slowed by the parasite, with infected people being two to three times more likely to be involved in automobile accidents than their uninfected counterparts. As if that wasn't bad enough, Additional recent studies into the effects of toxoplasma suggest that the parasite could be related to schizophrenia in humans. With the amount of cat and rodent life that we are surrounded by as we live in cities, will toxoplasma be able to one day evolve to have even more devastating effects on human beings? If so, what shape will this take? Will we begin acting against our own self-interests, putting ourselves in potentially lethal situations in order to spread the parasite to other hosts? What does it feel like to have your mind taken over by toxoplasma? Are you aware that you are being forced to seek out your own destruction as a helpless passenger in your own body? Or does it all of a sudden just feel like a really good idea? Let us hope we never find out for sure. Number two, filarial worms. One of the most devastating parasitic infections is lymphatic filariasis, a neglected tropical disease more commonly known as elephantitis. It is caused by three parasitic roundworms or nematodes, such as Brugia temori, Brugia malai, and Wucheria. Wucheria bancrofti, which is the worst of the three and is responsible for about 90% of cases. They transmit by infecting mosquitoes, who then in turn infect humans with their bites, injecting them with mature larvae, which then migrate to the person's lymphatic vessels, where they nest and grow into adulthood. The adult worms live for six to eight years, during which time they produce millions of larvae, which circulate in the victim's blood. This causes an impairment of the lymphatic system, which causes body parts to become abnormally enlarged, resulting in severe pain, disability, as well as a cruel social stigma. This parasitic infection has put 863 million people in 47 countries at risk and requires preventative chemotherapy in order to avoid this fate. Thankfully, an effort by the World Health Organization, started in the year 2000 to try and eliminate lymphatic filariasis, has resulted in a 74% decline in infections in the years since its implementation. However, like any parasite, it is entirely possible that it could evolve, or neglect to continue to fight it as hard as it should be. If this became a more widespread disease, it could result in massive portions of the population becoming victims of this engorging, debilitating, and extremely painful parasitic infection. What is even more conceptually terrifying is that because of the many years it takes for the worms to reach maturity and begin releasing its larvae into your bloodstream, it could be years before you realize that there's a problem and that you are the unfortunate host of millions of parasites who have decided to ruin your body in order to turn it into their home. This is a parasite that we must continue to fight in order to ensure that as many people as possible are able to avoid this terrible and downright cruel fate. Number one, river blindness. As human beings who have managed to claw our way to the top of the food chain, it can be truly horrifying to contemplate how easily we can be taken down by microscopic life forms we never even knew existed. 
Sometimes this will cause a sickness, or sometimes it will result in deformity, disability, or even death. One of the worst examples of this kind of terrible fate in action is the parasitic worm known as Uncorsursa volvolis. This parasite is caused by the bite of an infectious black fly, which transfers the worm larvae into the person's skin, where it develops. When the person is bitten again, the black fly ingests these larvae, which develop in the fly for a week before they become infectious. The fly then bites a person again, dropping the larvae on the person where it penetrates the skin and infects the victim. Heavily infected people will usually experience a combination of symptoms including skin rashes, nodules under the skin, and heavy swelling. It can also cause eye disease that leads to eye lesions that cause blindness if not treated in time. This is a parasite that is already affecting humans, with about 20 million cases per year. Although 99% of cases currently occur in African nations, it is such a problem that it has become the second most common cause of blindness worldwide. Thankfully, river blindness is not currently a worldwide threat, but there is no reason that as environments change, it could not become one. Infecting people from countries, on continents it doesn't usually affect, such as the cases that have been reported in South America. With that, another journey together is complete. The dark forces that are in control of this evil dimension have asked that I remind you to like, comment, and subscribe, lest they be forced to infect your mind like a parasitic bacteria in order to force you to wander out into the woods until you come across a door that leads you to a nightmare dimension where you will be trapped with nothing but looped spooky music to keep you sane as you constantly churn out content for an uncaring universe. I'm off to try and discover a means of escape so I can return to the life I led before this unending nightmare. But should I fail, perhaps I will see you again soon, and I can regale you with more tales of the macabre and the disturbing here on Top 5 Scary Videos.